So what are we talking about today? The war chest. All right, this happens to be a Pelican 1650 case. Have you guys ever saw the Patriot uh, where his house is being burned down? Sort of like a, a Minuteman militia. He runs upstairs into the attic and then he goes and gets his kit and then he's ready for war. That's sort of what this is, okay? Uh, unfortunately, we don't have any cool cases, but we do have the Pelican. Everything that you see in here um, is my war kit. All right. There's not going to be any food. There's not going to be any water in here. That is for a, a secondary line or a third line. Um, what you see in here is line one and line two, extra ammo, ears, um, medical kit, that type of stuff. The sustainment or support kit is going to be separate from this because obviously you can't fit it all in here. Uh, and obviously I don't want to store food inside this, this uh, war chest and then have it go bad or rancid and then mess up the rest of the kit. So, we're going to get through this. Uh, I'm going to show you one piece at a time. I'll put it to the side and then uh, we can comment and do all that good stuff. All right, guys. So first and foremost, some type of gas mask or protection. This is an, uh, it's not too old. All right. This is the gas mask US made. This is size medium. I forget which version this is. Uh, but I don't know how bad it's going to be. It's called the Millennium Mask with respirator and it also has the uh, voice emitter and it also has one extra cartridge. Again, this is not the newest, latest and greatest. It's just one that I have. What I like about this, this used to be issued to military and SWAT guys and it makes it very, very convenient to carry one. Although it's not in camouflage, it is in this cool black bag where you can wrap it around your leg or you can attach it to a pack and attach it to your go bag or whatever. It has side pouches. It's a little bit bulky, but it has everything I need in one kit. So that's that. Uh, let's talk about what I have in here. This is just another little SOE bag with the skull and crossbones. I got it on a, a free thing. Uh, this is my cleaning kit and supplemental. So I have some batteries in there, some extra batteries for my um, optics and flashlights all that stuff cleaning supplies that kind of thing i just keep it in here with the skull and crossbones so i know exactly what it is i think that's uh the 13th all right spooky scary stuff ear pro make sure you have ear pro i don't care if you wear plugs or if you wear regular ear pro at least you have something to protect your ears inside here is the magpul 60. this is the AR-15, I think it's the 50 or the 60? No, it's the 60. PMAG D60. They don't sell this pouch anymore. I'm sorry, it's, it came and went. It's kind of a big goofy pouch, but again, I don't have to reload that 60 rounds of ammunition for 5.56, so that's awesome. Inside here, I have extra magazines. Talk about extra ammo. This happens to be an SOE... Um, Toiletry bag, that's what it is. SOE toiletry bag, one, two, three, four. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is ten extra mags already loaded, ready to go. Again, supplemental. This is probably not something I'm going to be walking around with. All right, another SOE kit. This is, I think, the CQB drop leg. Drop legs are extremely heavy. I do like SOE kit. I like the way they work. And of course, everything's in multicam except for the items that are not. Uh, understand that this is gonna be very heavy on your leg, but if you're doing vehicle operations, let's say if you don't wanna wear your chest rig, at least you have extra ammunition. So there's two, two AR magazines in here, and then there's two Glock 17 magazines on each side. Of course, I'll be running some type of Glock 17, so I want to keep that on the side as well. Uh, battle belt, I can pull it out here. Again, this is an SOE battle belt. The belt itself is separate from the, uh, it, it doesn't come with all this kit. I'm just letting you know, it does. it's just a belt. Uh, I think this is a two inch, almost three inch duty belt. So no, it's two inch. Okay, so two inch duty belt, uh, buckles, everything inside is Velcro, which I like a lot. I have my Kiwis and I have my pig gloves along the side. I have a flashlight holder inside here. It's just a surefire 
It has two modes. Again, extra light so I can see. Back here is my med kit. Uh, I forget who makes this. Pretty decent med kit. Um, I'll look it up later. Over here. All right, this is the Mutt. Is this the Mutt? No, this is the OTH Leatherman. You should always have a Leatherman on your person. This is the OTH. I like it a lot. I use it quite a bit. And then here is just a drop leg. Somewhere in here is my holster. There it is because I couldn't fit it. This is the, all right, uh, 6354DO. Six, six, this is Glock 17, Glock 20. I do use the quick lock release, I'm sorry, QLS, QLS system. So if I need to change guns, I can. Uh, makes it very convenient and I do run a leg strap on this. And then over here, very simply, I just have a tourniquet. All right, so that's my line one and it goes together very well. So if I just put this in here, clip it in, it's already configured for myself. And then I have an internal belt that I'm gonna use that just Velcro's in there and it works very well, okay? So that's my line one kit. Uh, along with that, Shema, safety glasses, I got my hat, and then I have a helmet in here. I think you guys have seen this before. This is an old, I think, fragmentation helmet. It does not, I don't think this one supports any type of ballistic uh, protection, but it's better than getting hit in the head with a brick, just wearing a hat. Again, to each his own. I keep it in here because I don't know if I'm gonna use it or not, but at least I have something, and then everything goes in here and it just fits really conveniently. All right. All right, uh, this is navigation equipment that's going to go in the pack. So I have that. Water purification is going to go inside the little pack that I have here. I'm going to also carry a poncho. Poncho is going to be great for either, you know, getting out of the rain or some type of shelter. And inside here, I also carry some 550 cord. The idea behind 550 cord is if I need to shut up, set up a, a quickie shelter, I can. All right, so you got that. Also... Knee pads, if I have to go prone, at least I have something to protect my knees. Also some type of breaching equipment. All right, this is my R&D Hawk. All right, this is the Ontario USA Hawk. What I like about this, I could throw it in my pack. It's all one piece of steel. It's a hatchet. I'm not really making fires, but if I need to either defend myself or to, uh, let's say, get into an area, this will allow me to do it. Again, it's all one piece of steel. I do like the um, SOG hatchets. The SOG hatches are pretty good to go. The problem is it's plastic, the handle's plastic. So all one piece of steel is like a breaker bar or something to get inside of a building if I need to. It's a lot easier doing with this than doing with a knife. You just smash and grab or get into that location, set up camp, set up what I need to do. Uh, again, we're talking about worst case scenario. If I need to get into a building or a location, uh, I could just break the door, break the window, break and rake and get in there and do what needs to do. Uh, hopefully I won't have to be that loud, but again, it's always a good piece of kit to have. So I have that in there as well. All right. Um, as far as uh, plate carriers, very simple. Inside here, this is a Cry JPC, has a water bladder on it inside here. I have two tourniquets, all right, these are the Scorpion pouches, you can get these, these are USGI, you should cover them, uh, they, it's not about camouflage, it's they break down in the sun, so depending on your environment, all right, I have two extra magazine for my pistol, up top I have three AR-15s uh, magazines, I have my knife, which is just a, a SRK very easy combat knife, easy to grab and go. Inside here, I don't think I have anything in the admin pouch. No, admin pouch is empty. I have on the side, this is a rip away medical kit. All right, very simple. It's got all my bleeders, my all that kind of stuff that's inside there. On the side, I also have more pockets. If I wanted to add more magazines, I could do that as well. All right, so that's one on this side, one on this side. I also have another set of gloves. These are just uh, mechanics gloves, and I hang them on a smoke loop. So if I had smoke, I could put smoke inside here, 
if I need to, or a radio. Again, I'm not gonna mention comms. Uh, comms is something that you should have inside this kit, but what I don't put in here is because I have them on a charger, so I wanted my batteries charged as much as possible. Then I'll go ahead and throw it in this pouch and then we're good to go. Again, going around the side, I have another pouch back here, again, for either a radio or smoke. And on the back, I have another piece of kit where this is my sustainment. So I'll have like my rain kit in here. So I'll put a poncho in there, it's that kind of thing. MRE, I'll put my map, map book. All right, so that'll be on the back of my plate carrier so I don't have to worry about it, it's already in there. I'll put a nice MRE in the back so I have some food in there. Again, any comm equipment will go there. And, a, and again, it's attached to the plate carrier. Okay, so I don't have to worry about that. And of course, I have my water bladder in there as well. All right. Uh, on, the, on the lower side here, all right, this is like a little admin pouch. Again, I got most of the stuff on eBay. I'm sorry, uh, Amazon. So I have this. And inside here, just have some cami paint, note-taking material, chem lights, boo-boo ouch stuff, so pain aids, that kind of thing, signal mirror, uh, some more batteries, and a lighter. Okay, so again, this is not about going to, um, this is more like a Minuteman kit, all right? We're not gonna go out and hang out. We're actually doing the stuff that we need to do get the things done. Obviously you see that I don't have any firearms on this kit. I just explained it to you. I'm not going to put live firearms in this kit. Um, the ammunition is fine on standby, that kind of thing. It's all cool, but uh, my firearms are locked up in the safe and then when I need them, I just add it to the kit and go. So. so that's pretty much it guys. This is my war chest. It is very large, very heavy. It's not easy to move. If you want to use kit bags, I highly recommend uh, getting kit bags. I use SOE. They're a lot lighter. It's a lot easier to maneuver. Uh, you know, if you get them in different colors, you can tell the missus load up the truck with that stuff because she's not going to be able to lift this kind of thing. I do like the fact that because of this case, you can secure it. It does have locks on it, that kind of thing. Again, I'm not putting any firearms in there, but it's available. So, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Uh, Become a Patreon member. It's only a dollar a month. It's not gonna. It's not gonna kill you. It's not gonna hurt you. And uh, thank you very much. And as always, guys, please stay safe.